Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, last time I talked to you, I was still in the tent. Um, that was about three, four months ago. It's been a while. Um, things have changed. We're in the garage now. We got enough room outside to park like four cars. It's dark outside, so I'm not going to show you. Maybe I'll show you tomorrow. It's going to be a little bit of a longer video. We're going to start off with a little garage tour and uh, from there we're going to start doing the angle kit on the 240. Um, I've done a lot off camera, like a lot that you guys haven't seen, so catch you guys up on that too. Um, yeah, so let's just jump right into it. Do it. I got my Hot Wheels collection, mini fridge in the corner. Got some ready up on the TV. Some more Hot Wheels stuff. This is gonna be my cover for like normal stuff. Got my electrical stuff all on this shelf. Got a couple of house things. This is for when the chilly days start to come. Keep the garage warm. We have our own engine lift now. This is my spare engine. Uh, I built this workbench. I'll insert a clip right here. And then this shelf is full of paint supplies. This is a BMW engine. It's got some pretty awful scoring in there. But uh, there is one of my toolboxes. I've got another one in the back of the truck from drifting out of Stratatech. That was freaking amazing. That's gonna go right there. Used to be over here. But that's uh, pretty much it. We got the car here. Um, seats all mounted fully. Exhaust is heated up. We got some. Like I've done lots. I don't even know. Intercooler piping's done. I did some undercoat in here. I think I might have showed you guys that, but now I gotta pull the front front rack out. Need to suspend the engine up here. So, I already got the wheels off. I think we're pretty much just gonna disassemble the front end, take the front end out. We gotta do lower control arm bushing, so might as well take it all apart. So I need to find my tripod and I'll set you guys up for a couple little time lapses. Get to it. All right, so I already got some things loosened, so I'm just gonna start zapping shit apart. Thank you. 
So, this already has energy suspension bushings in it. That's the only reason I, well, I need to take the lower control arm off because I'm doing a rack relocation. So, I have energy suspension bushings for the rear. Um, and the boy Nick throw his Instagram in right here. He's gonna mod some knuckles up for me. <coughs> and uh, yeah, we're gonna be good. I do have an oil leaf there. Back, 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 back. I do gotta address that. But I'm not gonna film me doing this to the other side. I'm just gonna do it. I think I'm gonna clean all this shit up too. It's fucking nasty with my hands. But yeah, we're gonna get it all good. Nice and clean, ready for next year. So, next step's gonna be supporting the engine, taking all that shit out, so. Um, I'm gonna take it apart the other side and I'll get back to you when I'm done that. So I got my subframe back. It's all done. I'll show you guys that before it actually goes in. Um, got my new knuckles back from Nick. And uh, I already put this one on so you can see the angle, but now it's all ripped apart again. Now I'm switching the rack out. I got the subframe, or not the subframe, the rack covers off. I already cracked the subframe, pulling the engine train out now. To suspend the engine. So, once I have the engine suspended, I will find a camera position for you guys and we'll get this button frame swapped out. So, here's the two racks. Here's the stock grease that when you feel the grease on it. Disgusting. So, yeah, that's that. Here's the modded one. As you can see, we a little closer together here. There's a big difference in width here. It's moving the rack forward for those of you that did not know. So, forgot to set the camera up pulling this one out. So we'll put the camera back in for sticking it back in, but we got the crane holding it all together and we're gonna keep plugging away. I don't know how well you guys can see under here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift the subframe up. I'm gonna put a jack stand under it to hold half of it up. Close to the spot. Then I'm gonna go to the other side, I'm gonna lift it up. I'm gonna get the two nuts holding it on, then I'm gonna come over here and finish this one. Much more better than stock. I can do that now. Thank you, brother. This is pretty crazy. If you ask me.
and we are actually, let me see if I can get a light for in here. So we are actually hitting that lower control arm with the tie rod there. So we're going to build a pocket for that too. It's just a little bit more. But it does look like you're going to start getting some of your centering issues. Not that much dirt. I don't know if you can see it from That's that job done. And I didn't show you guys the difference in the knuckles, so we'll do that. So, it moves the pickup point in quite a bit, about a whole inch. That helps with over centering issues. Don't have to use an offset rack spacer when you move your rack forward, and that saves your rack. This used to be a Hikus car, so I already have a quicker ratio steering rack. So I want to keep that in good condition. So that's where we're going to end this episode. Um, show you more stuff next episode. Maybe even new wheels.